When you visit a website you've been to before, Edge fills in your password with a line of dots. But how can you reveal what your password actually is? Let's find out. This is Dave's Tech Rescue, where I solve your problems with computers, internet and technology. If you have a question you'd like to ask me, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss my next video where I might be answering your question. Back to today's question, how do you reveal the password that's hiding behind those dots? Well, when Edge offers to remember a password for a website, it stores it in a secure place called the Credential Manager. We can open the Credential Manager and uncover the password. First, you need to click on either the Start menu or the Cortana icon next to it. Then type Credential Manager. As you start to type it, you will see the Credential Manager appear. Click on the Credential Manager to open it. Now, make sure Web Credentials is selected and you will see a list of all the websites you have saved passwords for. Look for the website you need the password for. I'm using google.com as an example. You can see the google.com address on this line and I can check this is the right username. Click on this line, then click show. Now for extra security, you need to type in the password or PIN for your computer. And the password is revealed. Now you might find a snag here, which is that if your computer doesn't have a password, then when you click on show, you won't be able to get past the box that asks for the password, even if you leave it blank. The best way around this is to put a password on your computer, then you can remove it again once you've finished. So click cancel, then go into start, then settings, then accounts, and add a password. Then go back to the Credential Manager, find the right website, click Show, then type in the computer password you just added. Now if you like, you can get rid of the password again at this point. Just go back to Settings and change the password and leave the new password blank. However, I would recommend keeping your computer password protected. Another thing, Edge can sometimes hold on to old and incorrect passwords, and it gets annoying when it starts filling in out-of-date information. So while you're in the Credential Manager, it's a good idea to weed through your saved passwords and remove any that no longer work. Just click the Remove button to get rid of them. Did this video help you find out what your saved password was? Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. If you have a question you'd like me to answer, leave it in the comments and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this from me in future, please hit the red subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.